my dear students happy morning to all of you thank you last few classes i have discussed with you about the projection of pyramids that is on the projection of solids i have taken the topic projection of pyramids and we have dealt with the various problems on pyramids different shapes whether the square shape or pentagon shape or hexagon shape of the pyramid what will be the case when it is resting on the corner inclined to hpvp resting on the edge inclined to hpvp when the pyramid is lying on triangular surface when the pyramid is lying on slant edge everything we have discussed in the previous class and more importantly one important problem is tetrahedron a tetrahedron which is made up of four equilateral triangles and all the triangles are equal we have dealt a problem on tetrahedron I have also given you a clear picture of how to construct the top view front of the tetrahedron and the problem is done in the pre previous sheets. Today I am going to give you instructions on the one more type of solid, prism and cones. Under the solid is the last class for prisms and cones, pyramids, prisms and cones. We don't deal with the cylinders, uh, as such you know we don't deal with the cylinders. Let me give you some example of how the prism should be considered. I have a square prism in my hand. All of you can see a square prism in my hand. A prism can be considered in this manner. It has got a bottom and top, same shape they have. It is a square prism. Bottom is a square, top is a square. Bottom is a square, top is a square. The corresponding corner of the bottom to corresponding on the top is joined by a line. This line is called as straight edge. It is also called as longer edge, straight edge, longer edge, giving room for the formation of rectangular surfaces. Giving room for the formation of rectangular surfaces. These rectangular surfaces are also called as lateral surfaces. I repeat, these rectangular surfaces are also called as lateral surfaces. Example of a square prism I have been I am discussing with you right now. You must also imagine top center to bottom center, a center line, an axis you must imagine for the prism. These are all the main features of the prism. It has got a, it has got a one face, bottom face and top face, F-A-C-E -E face. Bottom face is called the base. If you keep it like this, the bottom one is called the base. The top is the top face. One more example if you want to see, if I have a pentagon here, a pentagon prism, a pentagon prism. It has got straight edges or longer edges, fine. And rectangle surfaces, rectangle surfaces, it has got fine. So this is the nature of the prism, which is the pentagonal prism. I am showing you a square prism, a pentagonal prism. I have here one hexagon prism, hexagonal. It is a hexagon shape, hexagon prism. The prism will have the, all features will be same. That is bottom face, top face, bottom face is called the base. These are all the main features of the prism. So it has got a, and normally what, what we do, we name them accordingly, top corner, bottom corner accordingly, while solving the problems, while solving the problems, while dealing with the projections of prisms, while dealing with the projections of prisms. We, we are dealing with one more solid known as cone. I have a cone in my hand, all of you can see, it is a cone in my hand, the circular base, a circular base cone. A cone is considered like this. It has got a circular base. Each and every point of circular base joined to a point in the top. This point is known as apex point or the vertex point. And the line joining the vertex point to the base circle, this line is called as generator. This line is called a generator. Since we have 360 degrees, one complete circle, 360 degrees, the cone has got infinite number of generators. The cone has got infinite number of generators. In fact, when you project, you know, to front to the top, in the front to project, you know, you can see only the end generator, which is normally called as extreme end generators. In between, we have millions and billions of generators in between. So, a cone has got, it is considered as a, a circular base, and you have an apex point, from the apex point to center of the base, we have the, you should imagine the axis line. 
connecting the base circle do you follow me each and every point we have a line here known as generator finally i can conclude it has got infinite number of generator this will be main features of a cone we are also going to deal with the projections of cone when the cone lies in different different positions in the first quarter how to draw the top your front view we are also discuss with the prisms when the prism is standing on the side standing on the corner inclined to hp inclined to vp how to project and draw the front view and top view so projection of prisms today it is going to be lessons on drawing the pro solving the problems on projections of prisms and projections of cone that's what we are going to going to study today i have given you the guidelines for the exercise numbers for the prisms the problems are given to you so please go through the problems work them systematically on the graph sheet or the plane sheet and i have received some information that some of the students do not have the engineering instruments with them at home no problem still you have some of the instruments which you had used you know during the school days and the other days or your brothers or sisters may be having what is required is a scale a pencil we have a compass or a protractor small things is enough for you to carry and the answer if you have a will you can work these problems on the graph sheet i request all the students please try to find pull out some instruments whatever we have we have with you and then see that the problems are solved on the graph sheet or the the plane sheet and submit to us for an evaluation in 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 spite of it if you still have some doubts you can contact me or you can contact uh, vishnu who is in always in touch with you we will clarify all your doubts regarding the putting the problems on the sheets and submission for the and submitting for the final evaluation with this i will proceed to solve the problems on prisms and cones i have shown here a 3d picture of a square prism and also a cone here a cone here i just name uh, a b c d top four corners of the prism a1 b1 c1 d1 bottom four corners of the prism it is easy to identify the longer edges because a a1 b b1 c c1 d d1 all these are called as longer edges of the prism they are called as longer edge they are also longer edge they are also called as straight edge not inclined edge straight edge in fact in case of a pyramid you know we have discussed about the slant edges and triangular surfaces now it is called as longer edges at base you know we have a1 b1 c1 d1 corners a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 they are all edges the longer edges a a1 b b1 c c1 as shown here the axis in the middle there is a center line it has got four rectangular surfaces let me shade one and show you one rectangular surface this is a rectangular surface the a square prism has got four rectangular surfaces it has got four rectangular surfaces i'm just shading one to indicate the rectangular surface this is c c1 d1 d c rectangular surface this is called as a rectangular surface rectangular rectangular face or rectangular surface also known as lateral surface also known as lateral surface lateral surface there's the main features of the prism uh, i just took an example of a square prism it can be a pentagon hexagon triangle any type of any shape of the prism <coughs> i told him that top face this is the bottom face bottom face is known as the base of the prism <coughs> when you come to the cone cone has got a circular base each and every point of circular base joint a point on the top here and which is known as vertex this point is known as vertex or is also called as apex point is also known as apex point the line joining the vertex to the base is known as generator this is what is called as generator generator and i told him a cone has got a circular base of 360 degrees and it has got infinite number of generators infinite number of generators 
at a circular base. This is a circular base. That is nothing but a circular base. Circular base of the cone. The, the main features of a cone having an apex point, the center line, circular base, the generator. Main feature, the prism. I had explained to you about the prism. If you'd like to see the top view, front view, the top view, the prism, and the front view, the prism. Top view, the front view, the prism. Top view will be this nature. You'll have a square. Square. Top view will have a square. Bottom four corners, top corners. Look at the center. We can project and draw the front view. Draw the front view. Front view, depending upon the height, it looks like a rectangle. It appears like a rectangle. That is the front view. That is an axis. That is an axis. So let me, this is center point. Let me name them. We have here A, a B, C, D, top four corners. A1, B1, C1, D1, bottom four corners. When you project in the front view, please do not draw slant edges here because it is a plane surface, it is prism. It is not a pyramid. Don't join your leaf. Even if you say O, O1, the center point here, we have O, o dash and O1 dash. This is the axis point. When you look in the front view, B and A happens to coincide. We have a B dash and then A dash. C and D, we have a C dash and then D dash. Whereas bottom we have B1. So we have here B1 dash and then A1 dash, A1 dash. C and D, C1, D1, C1 dash and then D1 dash. So this is what we have. Top four corners indicate shown clearly. Bottom four corners shown clearly. This is the top view front of an ordinary square pin which is under, under, under consideration or under discussion. While dealing the problem, it may change the shape. I may take a pentagon, I may take a hexagon, I may take a triangle. Different shapes of prisms I will take and I will I'll start with uh, solving the problems on the prisms. But as a cone, where a cone, top view will be a circle. Cone, top view will be a circle. You have a point here, the center point here, that is O. Project and draw the front view. The front view will be like this. There's the center line. We have an axis. There's an axis. Generators. This is called as end generators or extreme end generators. O dash, O1 dash. Do you follow me? And this is what is called as extreme. This is the base, circular base. They are called as end generators. Normally we call end generators, end generators or extreme end generators. As I said, in between you have infinite number of generators. This is how we'll draw the top view front of an ordinary cone, a right regular cone, top view front of an ordinary square prism, right regular prism because axis is always perpendicular to the base. Axis is always perpendicular to the base. So this is how the it is considered. This is how you should have the um, uh, all the features and imagine them when we solve with the problems. What is the prism? How to deal with the prism? What is the cone? How to deal with the cone? So we will solve the problems on various types of prisms and cone when they are lying in the first quadrant in different positions. A prism may be standing on the side, standing on the corner. It can be inclined to HP, inclined to VP. How do we draw? the upper and top view, upper and front view of a prism and the cone, that's what we are going to study in this chapter.